Welcome to the Crypto Engine live stream. Let's look at the crypto markets tonight and see what's going on. Here we go. Uh, I sharing the live stream, sharing my screen, I should say. Welcome to the Crypto Engine channel. Let's look at the Crypto Fair and Greed Index. I go live every single week, Mondays and Saturdays at 11 p.m. Central Time. Next week, it will be the same day, though, Sundays and Monday, 11 p.m. Central Time. So let's kind of look and see what's going on in the crypto markets. Before I jump too far into it, know that we have a trading group. If you guys want to join that, link to join that is on YouTube, Crypto Injury 333. So I have my Patreon on there. Uh, feel free to check that out. And that is $30 a month to get my access to my Bitcoin trades that I take every month and my altcoin setups that I post every single day. So if you guys want to join that, join that in the link below. Also, my Telegram link is also on YouTube. So right now we are in greed, but I'm not worried because unless we're above 90, which is extreme greed, I do believe, I'm not really worried. Right now, though, Bitcoin did get a little bit of a pullback after the crypto fear and greed, the crypto fear and greed index went above 70. Um, so that is kind of what we've seen all day um, is a little bit of a move down. Obviously, last time I was live, which was yesterday, Bitcoin had that little bit of a move right before my live stream up to the high at sixty nine thousand six hundred dollars, um, and we almost touched that seventy thousand dollar mark. I would say that this trade is now invalidated to the upside because we have gone down and it's now likely that we have to be a little bit more bearish or neutral and we can't be super bullish right now. But my macro time frame is still bullish, hence I'm still holding a long position. I still believe that we will see more upside. I just went over this yesterday, but I will do it again. The monthly time frame for Bitcoin doesn't look great. The weekly looks really good to me. And if you break $70,800 by the time this weekly time frame is overbought, technically we're still in a massive uptrend and we're still breaking up to that $90,000 to $100,000 measure move. Also, what really is good, a good sign to me right now, it's a weekly time frame right now. It still has a lot more to go up on the money flow. You're only sitting at a 32. It goes all the way up to 100. So I do see more upside on the money flow for Bitcoin. So I'm very bullish about what we're seeing in the charts right now on the weekly time frame. Three day as well looks good to me. You're sitting at 63 out of 100. So you could see more upside there. Two days, same thing. And the daily looks decent to me as well like the money flow on the daily suggests you make a higher low again because you're only sitting at um 60 on the money flow so i do see more upside for bitcoin but we need to put that higher low in now on the daily time frame a higher low on the daily would mean that bitcoin does not fall below the level of 58,900. So if Bitcoin holds a 60k level, that's technically a higher low. I'm not bearish on Bitcoin unless you lose unless you would lose 60,000. But really for my trade that'd be a bad situation um, if you did lose that level because I would invalidate my long trade um, based on how I'm trading it. So right now the 12 hour time frame you can see the stock hour side trying to make the higher low. That's a very good sign and you are sitting on support at 66,000 stock hour side trying to make the higher low. That's a very good sign and you are sitting on support at $66,600. Um, and you actually got a little bit of a bounce from that level. The four hour time frame, you have bearish engulfing candles, that is for sure. But again, you're sitting on that support. And now the question is can you make a double bottom here from where you, you we were here the 17th of October and now four or five days later, we're sitting back here. Can we get the double bottom and get the V shaped recovery right now? Or are we going to just make uh, continue lower, make a lower low? We'll see what happens, but right now, again, I am more bullish than bearish. So the one-hour time frame you can see right now, but we jump down to the one-hour. Uh, you can see that this doesn't look great to me. The one-hour time frame is overbought, but the one-hour time frame on the money flow looks like pretty good. You're in a slight uptrend. You hit your low, and now you're ready for a bounce. So a little bit of indecision right now. Here's the bearish scenario that you make a bear flag here and continue further to the downside. Um, I think this is a possibility. But again, I think it's more likely the double bottom plays out and we continue to the upside. Uh, if the bear scenario does play out, your measure move would take you to that support down there at 64000 and you would lose that $65,000 support, which would be a bad sign. Um, so right now, the bear scenario is you. this is a bear flag and you dump further to the downside. So the bulls must short term. The bulls short term must get back above sixty-eight thousand dollars to negate the bear flag. If you make a higher high or a higher move, 
then this th then top of this flag above 68,000, then you could say that we can start to dig out of, out of this uh, little bear flag here and this bearish tone that Bitcoin has right now. So if if you we want to be bullish tonight, we have to get back above 68,000. If that doesn't happen, we are going to see a move further to the downside with a move as bad as 64,000. So that's kind of what we got going on for Bitcoin tonight is a possible move down to 64,000 unless we can get back above 68,000. If we get back above 68,000, then I do see us the rally continuing back to the upside. Um, so we'll see what happens. I think it's more likely the double bottom plays out and we go back to the upside. Um, but anything is possible and uh, we probably were due for some kind of pullback. If you guys have requests for all coins, let me know in the comment section below, and I will look at them. Um, and, yeah. Uh, so, I am also still long. Despite this little move to the downside today, I am still long on both Adam and on Bitcoin. And, really, on Adam, I see this bull flag forming here. And, finally, for the first time in months, we can actually be bullish on, this, on the higher time frames. Not the, the one hour is a higher time frame. But, the higher time frames above the one hour still look really good to me. This could take you up to $5.80. And I've said it before, the four-hour time frame is overbought. But, like, you got the daily, that is overbought. But I still think this daily time frame eventually will come up to the 200-day moving average, which is sitting at $6.42. So I do see more upside for Adam Coin here eventually if Bitcoin does not, you know, lose support and fall to 64000 If Bitcoin goes sideways or slightly up, then I see I move to almost $6 on Adam. So Adam, to me, looks kind of bullish. Uh, on on what I'm looking at. So Ethereum is the other one I wanted to look at. Ethereum right now, kind of struggling. Uh, you have a measure move on the higher time frames up to 2880, but obviously struggling right now. If this is your low here at 2611, that is a higher low. Um, your previous low would be down there at 2532. This could be a retest of the top of the flag for a continuation back to the upside in a V-shaped recovery. So really, if Ethereum holds 26.11. I see more upside for Ethereum um, with a measure move up to $2,880. So Ethereum looks good to me. Bitcoin looks okay if you can hold this double bottom, and Adam looks really good. Bas because these th th three charts to me look pretty good, I really do see a recovery for crypto. Because if just Bitcoin looked bullish, but everything else looked bearish, then I, I would see more downside. But I see more upside for crypto and for Bitcoin going into the rest of this week. So... That's kind of what we got going on right now on the charts. Thank you for the likes. If you guys have requests for all coins, let me know in the comments section below. But uh, that is kind of what I'm seeing. And um, that's what I'm seeing in the charts right now. Is I, I do believe that could be your low for Bitcoin at 66596 uh, I do see more upside. The 15-minute time frame is kind of struggling. Let me go down to the smaller time frames to see what's going on. Like right now, look at the 10 minute time frame for Bitcoin. I do see this as a, you know, this looks like a move to the upside is about to form. It's not the prettiest chart patterns, but this is a bullish sentiment. You know, this, the 10 minute got to move to the upside, a small one on that, a lower high, but it still moved to the upside. And now you could say that this is a bull flag and now and this bull flag could give you the move to the upside that would make it a higher high on the smaller time frames and that wouldn't that would almost confirm a double bottom so this bull flag has a measure move on bitcoin on the smaller time frames up to sixty eight thousand five hundred twenty seven dollars uh so we'll see what happens but right now i believe this bull flag can play out to the upside and we can get the move that we're looking for uh as at least if you're long on bitcoin so not financial advice, but I would be very cautious right now shorting Bitcoin because I do see this on the smaller time frames. The 10-minute the time frame bull flag or falling wedge could save the day here for Bitcoin and, and really get us up and out of this li little dump that we've had today on Monday. Um, so I do see more upside for Bitcoin. Now, again, I guess short term, if Bitcoin does not hold the level of 67200 then we are going to go further down. But if Bitcoin holds 672, I do see us recovering out of this uh, dump we've had today and getting a little bit of a bounce to the upside. Um, so that's kind of what we got going on. Um, I'll be back live on Saturday. Uh, or no, what's today? Sunday. I'll be back live on Saturday 11. No. 
Sunday next week, 11 p.m. Central Time, because I got to work on Saturday. If you guys have requests on all coins, let me know when I look at them. Oh, I do want to look at Bowden really quick. Um, so this is not one I bought. It's still on my radar. Uh, Joe Bowden coin, which I can't believe it's still around. And honestly, it probably will eventually go to zero. But this was a, a little bit of a relief. On the four-hour time frame, you had this massive move up. Let me refresh it, because I don't think the 200-day moving average is even in the right place. I don't know how that happens. So, let me go full screen here. So, you can see... Why does it do that? Why does the 200-day moving average keep changing? That makes no sense. Well, you are above... See, you're above it, but then it keeps changing. I don't know. But, see, if you just bought here, you bought at 6, you could have sold the top at 18. That's a nice trade. Uh, but, overall, I'm, I have this on my radar. It looks like it's about to lose a 200-day smooth moving average. So, it's just something to have on my radar. But, again, so this is not, again, just to be clear, this is not something I'm buying. It's just something that I have on my radar uh, because it has been performing well. Anytime it's broken the 200-day smooth moving average on the 4-hour time frame, it's always had a nice pump. Um... But again, it probably is eventually going to go to zero. The market cap's only five million. We'll see what happens. Again, this doesn't look great to me on the macro time frames. Um, so that is just something I have on my radar for maybe a quick trade if 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 it gets back above it again. But overall, you know, that's just something to have on your radar. It's a little bit of a mean point. It is on Solana, so again, who knows what's going to happen with that? So. I don't know why no one showed up today. Yesterday we had a decent stream. Now today we got like one or two person watching. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Um, it, this is a normal day I go live, the normal time I go live, so I have no clue where everyone's at. Maybe, but the football games are over too, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, either way, that's kind of what we got going on. I'll be posting videos tomorrow and uh, on YouTube. Uh, for sure, uh, I'll be posting videos throughout the week on YouTube. The only times I post on TikTok anymore, like videos, are on the days I go live just so people know I'm live. Um, I only po post like twice a week on TikTok anymore. But like YouTube, I post multiple times a day. At least I try to. And I post, you know, 14 times a week probably on average. 14 videos a week on YouTube. So make sure you go subscribe to my YouTube. Hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I go live or post a video. And... Uh, that's kind of what we got going on. So if you guys enjoy this, make sure you hit the like, subscribe. I don't see any requests. So I guess with that being said, uh, why is there no sound? You're joking. There's no sound. There should be sound. I don't think that's accurate. That's kind of weird. Well. Weird. Well. I don't even know if I can watch my own stream. Um, but my sound should be on. My computer is being kind of weird, though. So I'll, I'll have to check it out. Um, with that being said, guys, I'll see you guys next week. I'll have to check on the sound. Thank you for that notification. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I'll have to check on the sound. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I'll have to check on the sound. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I'll have to check on the sound. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I'll have to check on the sound.